now we go to the question number 2 which is uh, also of uh, very uh, uh, you know primary importance uh, in the sense lot of uh, projects are coming in india i am sure uh, you are aware uh, you know in the sense uh, uh, large projects recently some of the large projects uh, they the, the references are made uh, not to the indian regulations or indian uh, standards uh, Uh, i don't want to name the project that is why i'm not uh, disclosing uh, but uh, you know major project uh, thousands of crores worth uh, government of india projects uh, the consultants are of course from uh, europe and america and probably from somewhere and they were always referring to the compliance to their national standards uh, rather than indian standard and indian regulation say for example uh, the the safety has to be as per the the british standard the, and something else is from the german standard some part is from the ieee standard and so on so the a lot of uh, participants also asked this question which we modified a little bit uh, the uh, about the validity of uh, the regulation the question is uh, in large projects compliance to british and american standards are often uh, also private standards such as the ul standard uh, nfpa standards are asked for without any compliance to indian standard is it legally correct or you know is it wrong the question is for dr for devdas goswami ji please we are waiting for your answer devdas sir i hope the question is clear yeah thank you gopa ji uh, this is really a very sad part i would say <clears throat> that uh, in indian uh, uh, territory uh, somebody is referring uh, british standards american standards or any private standards other than indian standards uh, normally what happens that uh, we tend to uh, get uh, very much um, uh, i would say attracted to something like foreign foreign things so probably that could be an idea but as you rightly said it is not that uh, not only that because it is not common public that they are referring to but there are big consulting firms those were executing projects in india so they may have some interest because this is always standard is always linked to the trade so in most cases these british standards american standards uh, that facilitates uh, those kind of products and that may debar uh, the indian products or indian manufacturers from participating in many ways so this is one part of the story as far as legality of uh, the applic uh, legality of uh, these requirements whether the british standards or american standards we should follow it in indian territory it is my considered view is that this is not logically correct now if we refer to regulation 122 it says that save as otherwise provided in these regulations the relevant code of practice of the bureau of indian standards or national electric code if any may be followed to carry out the purpose of this regulation and in the event of any inconsistency the provisions of these regulations shall prevail we have to keep in mind the regulation is passed or is part of the parliament act process so this is the national law nobody can ignore that so the regulation has to be followed in indian soil nobody can ignore regulations will be complied with so as per the regulation they have to follow with, uh, indian standards and national electric code wherever uh, these are applicable but unfortunately these regulations in this clause it says that bis or national electric code if any may be followed this may word can give some leverage to somebody to quote some something else so yes mukul kumar and uh, mr rathod is there so what i suggest that in the uh, forthcoming revision of these regulations the may word may be replaced by shall because it is it should be mandatory if we look at 123 the next regulation it says the material and apparatus used shall shall conform to the relevant specification of bureau of indian standards so here the shall word is appearing so shall word will make it mandatory and in the indian soil for any projects is executed it should be the indian standard or nationality code and it should not be british standards or american standard because there are a lot of problem as far as electrical safety is concerned there are a lot of issues related to the safety is concerned which takes care of by indian standard and definitely not the british standards legality of the whole thing would be valid if anybody follows the indian standard in indian soil and definitely not british standards or american standards i hope that my uh, clarification will help and my request to ca uh, will come out with a new regulations with what shall in place of
thank you bopa thank you very much uh, thank you very much uh, sir uh, yeah. uh, now anybody else from the panelist would like to answer uh, thank you devasi sahab uh, basically we will take the your uh, advice and uh, we will uh, uh, definitely incorporate in our uh, in forthcoming regulation uh, that will take care sir maybe the gopak kumar sahab uh, pointed out about the wind project sir uh, make a pardon sir that uh, you are what pointing toward the wind project no this is uh, bombay ahmedabad uh, you know this uh, mega train uh, the fast uh, train project uh, not okay. only that lot of lot okay. of projects okay. okay. yeah, no, lot lot, lot, lot of, of projects and okay, 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 yes. sir, no, no problem sir we'll take care of that when you yeah, yeah. the because the foreign consultants they are accustomed to their uh, rules and regulations but their rules and regulations cannot be made applicable in indian soil they have to follow indian soil regulations yes. it has to be there yes sir yes sure Thank you thank you very much sir thank you very much uh, for this uh, nice answer